Veikra Leviticus 7. Likewise, this is the Torah of the trespass offering. It is most holy. In the place where they kill at the burnt offering, shall they kill at the trespass offering. And at the blood thereof shall he sprinkle round about upon the altar. And he shall offer of it at all the fat thereof, at the rump, and at the fat that covers at the inwards, and at the two kidneys, and at the fat that is on them, which is by the flanks, and at the caul that is above the liver, with the kidneys, it shall he take away. And the priest shall burn them upon the altar for an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah. It is a trespass offering. Every male among the priests shall eat thereof. It shall be eaten in the holy place. It is most holy. As the sin offering is, so is the trespass offering. There is one Torah for them. The priest that makes atonement therewith shall have it. And the priest that, that offers at any man's burnt offering, even the priest shall have to himself the skin of the burnt offering which he has offered. And all the meat offering that is baken in the oven, and all that is dressed in the frying pan, and in the pan, shall be the priests that offers it. And every meat offering mingled with oil and dry shall all the sons of Ahran have, one as much as another. And this is the Torah of the sacrifice of peace offerings, which he shall offer unto Yahuwah. If he offer it for a thanksgiving, then he shall offer with the sacrifice of thanksgiving matzah cakes mingled with oil and matzah wafers anointed with oil and cakes mingled with oil of fine flour, fried. Besides the cakes, he shall offer for his offering chametz with the sacrifice of thanksgiving of his peace offerings. And of it he shall offer one out of the whole oblation for a heave offering unto Yahuwah. And it shall be the priest's that sprinkles at the blood of the peace offerings. And the flesh of the sacrifice of his peace offerings for thanksgiving shall be eaten the same day that it is offered. He shall not leave any of it until the morning. But if the sacrifice of his offering be a vow or a voluntary offering, it shall be eaten the same day that he offers at his sacrifice. And on the morrow also the remainder of it shall be eaten. But the remainder of the flesh of the sacrifice on the third day shall be burnt with fire. And if any of the flesh of the sacrifice of his peace offerings be eaten at all on the third day, it shall not be accepted. Neither shall it be imputed unto him that offers it. It shall be an abomination, and the soul that eats of it shall bear his iniquity. And the flesh that touches any unclean thing shall not be eaten. It shall be burnt with fire. And as for the flesh... All that be clean shall eat thereof. But the soul that eats of the flesh of the sacrifice of peace offerings that pertain unto Yahuwah, having his uncleanness upon him, even that soul 
shall be cut off from his people. Moreover, the soul that shall touch any unclean thing, as the uncleanness of man, or any unclean beast, or any abominable unclean thing, and eat of the flesh of the sacrifice of peace offerings, which pertain unto Yahuwah, even that soul shall be cut off from his people. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto the children of Yasharael, saying, Ye shall eat no manner of fat, of ox or sheep or of goat, and the fat of the beast that dies of itself, and the fat of that which is torn with beasts, may be used in any other use, but ye shall in no wise eat of it. For whosoever eats the fat of the beast, of which men offer an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah, even the soul that eats it shall be cut off from his people. Moreover, ye shall eat no manner of blood, whether it be of fowl or of beast, in any of your dwellings. Whatsoever soul it be that eats any manner of blood, even that soul shall be cut off from his people. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto the children of Yasharael, saying, He that offers at the sacrifice of his peace offerings unto Yahuwah shall bring at his oblation unto Yahuwah of the sacrifice of his peace offerings. His own hands shall bring at the offerings of Yahuwah made by fire at the fat with the breast it shall he bring at that the breast may be waved for a wave offering before Yahuwah and the priest shall burn at the fat upon the altar but the breast shall be Aharon's and his sons. And at the right shoulder shall ye give unto the priest for a heave offering of the sacrifices of your peace offerings. He among the sons of Aharon that offers at the blood of the peace offerings and at the fat shall have the right shoulder for his part. For at the wave breast and at the heave shoulder have I taken of the children of Yasharael from off the sacrifices of their peace offerings and have given them unto Aharan the priest and unto his sons by a statute forever from among the children of Yashara El. This is the portion of the anointing of Aharan and of the anointing of his sons out of the offerings of Yahuwah made by fire in the day when he presented them to minister unto Yahuwah in the priest's office which Yahuwah commanded to be given them of the children of Yasharael in the day that he anointed them by a statute forever throughout their generations. This is the Torah of the burnt offering, of the meat offering, and of the sin offering and of the trespass offering, and of the consecrations, 
and of the sacrifice of the peace offerings, which Yahuwah commanded at Moshe in Mount Sinai, in the day that he commanded at the children of Yashadael to offer their oblations unto Yahuwah in the wilderness of Sinai. 